Mr. Ajit Niman, it's a great honor to have you here today. We are very honored to be able to have someone who actually met Mario de Miranda. Your Excellencies, it is again an honor to welcome you here at your own house, ladies and gentlemen. I do wish to be very uh, specific now about certain things about this very emblematic cultural center of ours. Right now, we were speaking about Spanish and Spain and Latin American countries. Now we're going to speak about this house, because it is also a must. Dear Oscar, you have done a grand, a, a grand job, not a wonderful one. And I want to congratulate you for your five years uh, making this great adventure possible. We all feel very proud of these Abacus Institutes. I was just speaking to my Latin American colleagues, and they said that they felt very much at home, that this was their house also, that we need to protect it and to promote it. And you can be sure, and it is my word of honor, that it is what we are going to do. Dear Oscar, uh, this is going to be Spain's legacy, Latin America's legacy, and your own legacy. And I want to warmly congratulate you for it. I want to thank the Council of uh, our Embassy, Javier Salido, for a splendid job, for his ideas and his initiatives, and the way that he so ably and uh, intensively, tenaciously works on the cultural promotion of Spain and Spanish. Cartoons are art, and they bring out the essence and the soul of people and of countries, and we can see it right here. Mario de Miranda was a great cartoonist. I've seen his work. We have been extremely lucky to have his originals right here. I've been looking at them uh, before in his books and, look, and going over his uh, extensive work. But I'd like to stop a little on the figure of Ramon Gómez Vázquez. Spain was a very poor country for a long time, and especially in the 19th and the early 20th century. But in spite of that, Spain gave birth to some of the most brilliant writers in the world, some of the most brilliant artists in the world in those dark, in those dark decades. One of them was Ramón Gómez de la Serna, who was overshadowed because of the presence of other people that were considered bigger and better, and now is living some kind of uh, renaissance. My father was a friend of his, and one of my best friends is his nephew, and I've read his works ever since I was a, a child. You're going to be able to admire a very special person, someone who was at the most uh, advanced avant-garde of Spanish culture and European culture at, at his time and of his time. It gives me great pride to say that this is the kind of exhibition that sometimes would be uh, impossible to make if the imagination and the work of people like Javier and Oscar would not be in place. But I want to speak about the cultural projects that we have in this embassy and as a country. This is a commitment that Spain has with India. This cultural center, its students, its uh, professors and teachers, and the people that manage it, of great quality. The presence of Spain and Spanish and of Latin American nations has been boosted thanks to the existence of this center. <laughs> it gives me great pride to say that this is not going to be a flash in the pan. We are here to stay, to improve and to boost the presence of the center and our cultural in this great nation. It also gives me pride to say that Spain has declared <coughs> India as one of its top foreign policy priorities. We will have a long list of very senior people coming over to India in the next year and a half. And if all things go well, His Majesty the King will be coming to India uh, for a state visit by the end of this year. I wish to invite you all to learn more about us, to learn more about Spanish culture, to learn more about Spain and our Latin American uh, brother countries, sister countries. And I would want to invite you also to look very carefully into each and every one of the drawings that we have on the walls of this great cultural center. You will see in them, both in Mario de Miranda's and in Ramón Gómez de la Serna's, the soul of mankind, because there's only one, one humanity. We all belong to it. We're all brothers and sisters 
and what you will see in those cartoons, Spanish and Indian are soulmates. Thank you very much. Respected His Excellency, Ambassador of Spain, other dignitaries of other Latin American countries, ladies and gentlemen, my association with Mario has been ever since my childhood. A lot of people ask me where I learned my cartooning. We never had any cartooning schools. The only time we studied both Mario and Lakshman, the two leading cartoonists of India for more than 50 years, they stole the entire stage and scene of cartooning in India. So each time I got suspended in class in school for drawing cartoons, the first thing I would do is go to the library and spend those two hours looking at the works of both these famous cartoonists and also the whole of Europe because Europe and Britain produced one of the most famous cartoonists in the world and it was just by sheer observation of various styles and you have seen Mario's style I mean he's such an intricate detailed cartoonist who goes with the ethos of India India because we are a land of details there's so much so many things intricate you look at our ornaments, you look at the peacock, you look at the architecture, Kajurao, the temples, everything is detailed and it was so fortunate to have a cartoonist who brought out all those de details for our leadership, not just within India but for all the international countries visited and he was most, he was the most favorite cartoonist among airlines because they used to sponsor him to visit their cities whether it's Paris, London, you know, Madrid, anywhere all over Europe, so that he could produce those brilliant masterpieces, so that the airlines could use them in their calendars, in their booklets, other spin-off advertising materials. So it was a beautiful relationship a cartoonist had with these countries and airlines, which today's cartoonists, I mean, I'm sorry to say that, I just can't get anywhere close to these two cartoonists, although my thing is purely political. Mario had the advantage of being political, social and international. His party scenes, his Goa architecture, you saw the Spain, uh, you saw the Spanish architectural drawings. He was a master of architecture. I mean that comes out so beautifully and harmoniously in his style. He could put hundred people in a room and make sure that a white gowned lady stood in front of a black suited guy who was in front of a white wall and layers and layers and layers just by black and white without coloration. Today the computer has destroyed my style of cartooning because you become so lethargic unlike Mario who used to painstakingly crosshatch each of those lawns in front of many of the monuments of Europe with utmost patience. Now I would today use Photoshop and lasso paste or cop, you know, copy paste a lot of my drawings today and that is the essence of the Mario or the Lakshman cartooning as compared to the computerized cartooning of today. So if you want to become a cartoonist, please go to Google, just type Mario and then you get all the styles in the world to understand whether it's your children, your grandchildren and mind you, it is one of the most highest paid professions today in the world because animation is subcontracting a lot of work to India because our hands are good, because of our dance forms, because of our genetics. We have excellent wrists, uh, even in spin bowlers of cricket. But, you know, so a lot of animation business is coming to India. So instead of the usual stereotype roots of MBA, doctor and engineer, please encourage your children to take up illustrations, to take up cartoons. And it's a big, big avalanche of business coming this way in the next 10 years. Thank you so much.